guys, it's your girl Evo Dacious back with another video. And today, as you can see from the title, we're doing a haul and war this past week. What a war and haul in the past week, week and a half. Um, so I went out, got a, quite a few affordable fragrances over the um, past week. I um, well, first I'm going to talk about some body butter that I picked up. So I went to this store called Gabe's that's in my neighborhood. It's been around a long time. It's a discount store and they have like, they used to get a lot of designer clothes, but they don't often get as many designer things as they used to get. But I guess sometimes when things on sale, they get some of their clothes, but they also get like carpets and some home stuff and they get some body care things. And I picked up a couple of their, a couple of body butters from them. One is called Girls Just Want to Have Sun Pamela Grapefruit. This was like $5.99. I'll show you the inside of it so you can see how thick it is. This is what it looks like. It's a body butter. It smells so good. It smells like a sweet, like a pink grapefruit, not a bitter grapefruit. And then I picked up Nivea. I got the Nivea Cherry Blossom Body Butter. This body butter is nice. This is what it looked like. They had a ton of these. I actually might go back next week and grab some more. They didn't have a ton, but they had at least, well, they didn't have a ton, but I'm hoping they still have some because I'm gonna grab some more because this Nivea, or is it Nivea or Nivea? I don't know. Nivea is kind of pricey. And I've noticed that, I don't know why I haven't bought body butter more, but when I put a body butter on, I can feel my skin just like, uh, it's just like tingles and it's like, thank you, thank you. So I definitely want to use more body butter. I also picked up a little fragrance, some fragrances from Ipsy because I have an Ipsy box subscription and they have um, where you can get certain things on sale. So I picked up, um, they had this fragrance set that came with the Penrose Merry Maker and it also came with a Memoir Archives work, work From Home. Now, I already have a gift set of Memoir Ar Archives Work From Home. This actually is the box that it came in. So I had this mini, but I, it's okay because I wanted to get this and they didn't have this individually. They only had it as a set. But this Work From Home, I do like. It's um, the ingredients, because you can't even find it on Forgantica, but luckily I had the box, were warm cappuccino, sweet caramel, clean linens, and biscotti. And guys, that is what I get from it. Now, it's very light and that's perfect. Because I, I was thinking cafe au lait, but warm cappuccino makes sense with some caramel, like a caramel cappuccino. And that is what I get from this scent. Very lightly, though. The thing about this is very light. So I guess if you're working from home, that makes sense. It's like a scent, but no scent. It's there, but it's, it's very light. I like it. It's definitely... I, it's comforting. I like this brand. Now they're they're inexpensive. These don't last a long time. I mean, like at two hours tops, you will have to retouch. But I mean, usually I find these sets on sale when they have a sale. You can usually get them for like twenty five to thirty dollars, right? I mean, they're normally like sixty dollars, but they always have these bundles. I, I've gotten them from Macy's one time, and I've gotten a set, two sets from Macy. I got this set from Ipsy. I like them a lot. And it smells like it says. It smells like you're working from home. Definitely. I don't get a linen smell, but I definitely get the coffee and biscotti. But it's nice. It's comforting. So, yeah. And actually what I did when I wore this, I actually layered it with Bella Rosa from Oscar de la Rente, which is also not the best performing scent, but I got compliments. So I got told I smell good. Now, I had touched this up a little bit, too. So, they might have, I don't know if they were smelling them both together or not as much. I don't know how strong this was still laying on it. But that's what I did. I put these two together. And it was really pretty. So, I got Mary Maker from Penrose. I didn't get to smell this yet. Does it say what this is about? No, it just says animated. Well, it said, no, it says a sunny... Tangerine, Violet, and Tonka scent is what it says right here. So Mary Maker, as I said, it has Tangerine, Tonka Bean, two things that I love, orange, and I love Tonka. 
and I have violet. So let's see what this is like. This scent, I believe, when I looked this up, it was came out in like 2007. I like Penrose. I got Sun Saint from Ipsy, and I was so sad that it, it spilled out. No, I was just... I'm, I can't really smell of this on the paper. I'm not getting anything, so I'm going to put it on here. Mm, I've got a really strong alcohol smell. Let that sit for a little bit. Mm. I do tend to like Penrose scents, but they're like basic, but they're nice. This one, though, hmm. Okay, it's starting to dry down some. Hmm, yeah. I can see me wearing this. The tangerine is really coming through strongly. I love orange citrus scent, so. I've been, I also have been wearing, um, Oh, actually, what did I do with it? Now that I think about it, <laughs> I wore the California Clementine uh, the other day from um, Atelier Colognes. I really need to get my hands on the scents that I like before I can't get them anymore. But this is nice. Yeah, this is really nice. I like it. <clears throat> it's, grown, it's grown on me. Yeah. So another scent I got in my scent bird, and I don't know why I can't find the card. I just got it. I got Valaya, Valaya from Parfum de Marley, and I can say that I really like it. I went to, um, I wore it, I got it yesterday. No, I got it day before yesterday, and I wore it yesterday, and I put it back on today because I had an event, and I got compliments. Someone was like, like, you really smell good. You look nice and you smell good, and I was like, oh, do I? Because... This is one of those scents where I don't smell it on me, I guess. Like, I like it a lot when I first spray it. I think it smells very pretty. It has, so, Balea has made accords of musky, citrus, white floral, fresh, adahelic, 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 woody, powdery, amber, floral, and fruity. So, I pick up the musk for sure when I first spray it. I get that powdery. I guess I don't pick up the aldehydic because normally I pick that up. I'm not picking that up. Um, I like it though. I like it. And actually, when I first sprayed it, it I just don't I kill me, but it, I thought it. I I felt like is there some kind of thing from Delina in there? Because I smelled the little thing from there when I sprayed it. Maybe that's the aldehydic. I don't know. But um, I really did enjoy it. I want to keep wearing it. Um, yeah. And I could still smell it very lightly. Even when I came home. When I did like this, I could smell it. But I just didn't smell it on me. But it was projecting. Other people around me could smell it. So that was Falaya from Perfumes to Marley. I'm going to wear this up. And then determine if I... If I think, like, if I found a good deal for it, I would snatch it up because it's good. But it's not, like, it's not jumped to the front of my list of the things, the niche fragrances that I need to fork the money over for, you know. But it's very good. I also, my one friend, oh, I was sorry, I skipped over another thing I got from, um, another scent I got from Ipsy was Milk Bold, Commodity Bold. I love this scent, so when I saw they had it in the store, I snatched it up. And then, I forgot that I actually did get another scent from um, Scentbird, and that was Commodities Milk Bold. And I was so glad to find it. I mean, I've been talking about milk forever. And then they had a few of these, and I was able to grab it. I love milk. I know I need to get the big bottle, but I keep winding up getting like things like this and prolonging it. But it has this marshmallow milk, woody notes, amber, and musk. Like I love this scent. It's a scent that I see myself having all the time in my collection. And I definitely like it for this upcoming fall. So a friend of mine, she, 
wanted to go to Urban Outfitters because she had heard about their fragrances. Well, she, actually, she got them mixed up. She was thinking it was Alt, and she, but I didn't know that's what she thought until after we purchased these. And she says something about Urban Outfitters has these things. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I heard about them fragrances. I definitely have heard about them. I just never bought any. And so we get down there, and she bought two from their from the line, but I saw they had some on sale. I personally feel like the sale price is kind of like where these should fall at. <laughs> so I don't know. I got um, La Soda Pop. Now these were only twenty five dollars. They were twenty five to thirty five based off the size. These were some summer edition ones that they had, and so I picked up La Soda Pop because I thought this smelled so good. It smells to me like bottle cap candy. If you ever had that, that's what it smells like to me. Root beer, it smells a little bit like root beer too, but I get bottle caps. I love how this smells. And I definitely can see myself wearing it. I don't, this lasted pretty, I sprayed it at the store, maybe go back and get it, is that I sprayed this at the store and it was still on me about like two hours later, pretty good. Which is pretty good for a little inexpensive fragrance. So I do like it. Um, do I see myself running down there to buy a bunch more of these? I, there was a, there was like maybe three other ones that I smelled that I did like that maybe I would go buy. I probably would buy. But, um, but these two, they were on sale because I guess, like I said, they were, I think they were a summer line. They also had this one called Apple Teeny. Apple Teeny smelled a little too boozy for me. I really wasn't into it, but I got the May Souffle, which smells a lot. If you like, if you like, um, Sol de Janeiro um, 71, which is that like cakey smelling one to me. This is a pop, this, so I love this cause you know, if you've been with me for a while, you know I like buttery scents. I love a scent that smells like butter and this actually has butter listed as a note. Popcorn and butter, two things I love. I love those scents and fragrances. And so this has that, and I drew it. She didn't, she didn't care for this. I love it. So, you know, everybody's taste is different. And I, I absolutely love both of these. I think these are both really fun scents. I'm the, like, this one I would layer with my 71. Maybe if I wear my 71, throw this in my bag, or layer it with that, or even layer it with my Chirosa 62. I think it would be good with that. So I'm, I'm looking forward to doing that. And then I finally, um, so we were going out to, I was going out to dinner with the same friend and her daughter. And um, I had just worked an event and it was outside and I felt so sweaty and terrible and I didn't have anything on me and we were going to dinner right after. I'm like, uh, so I was like, oh, does anybody have anything? And her daughter had in her bag this body mist that I was like, oh, this smells really good. And I put it on and it lasted me. I kept talking as I was talking through dinner. I'd go like this and I'd smell it. And I'm like, this smells so good that I had to go out and buy it. So I went to the store because I wanted to get it for me and another friend who had did something. I wanted to get her a little gift. I was like, I'll just grab her one of these sprays and I get a little thank you. And um, they were like sold out. They only had these two left. They had one more. They had one of each of these left. Two of these. And I grabbed the two that looked full because the other ones looked like they had been sprayed a little bit. But they were at Target. They're finery. They're finery. Um, one I got was Magnetic Candy. This is the one that she gave me that I sprayed and I was like, this smells so good. Now they say on Fragantica, if I recall, they said it's cotton candy in here. They had three notes listed. Cotton candy. I believe the other one was Violet. And something else. None of the things I thought maybe there was tuberous in here, but they did not list tuberous. Because when I smell this, I get my I get my way vibes when I smell it. That like sweet tuberous that I love in my way. That's what this reminds me of. This is so good. Um, I definitely want to get the fragrance, so I'm gonna check out another Target. I do. I learned that these are hard to find, <laughs> but I'm hoping I can find the fragrance. I did go to another Target. And they had this other one that was called, ooh. <laughs> I did go to another Target and they had this one called, oh, Sunphoria. So yeah, I got the other, I gave the other friend the other thing that was there and it was this vanilla, like, um, see so sweet or something like that. 
it was nice vanilla scent. So then I went to another Target and they had this Sunphoria. And when I smelled this though, I was like, this smell like Alien Goddess Intense. That's what this smells like. The perfume was gone. Cause as soon as I smelled this, I was like, I want the perfume. But the perfume was gone. So I couldn't get it. All they had was a couple of the sprays. But that's what this gives me because I have, I'm at the end of my Alien Goddess Intense. This is definitely a repurchase, but the way this smells like it, I'm thinking I might try this because these are $27. I don't know. These are $27. I could probably get a good, you know, 100 something dollars for a bottle of the Goddess and it might be worth it more to get the Goddess because I, I really do like this scent. I mean, they're not do exacts, but they're really close. I don't know if it's, somebody said, I think when I've heard people talk about this, they've actually said it smells like something else. But for me, it's Alien Goddess Intense. Maybe it's Alien Goddess, I don't know. But that's what I get. I get the intense version that has the, that, has that um, jazz, that so jasmine. Another scent that I've been wearing, I know I talked a little about it. One of the scents I wore last week, um, another one I gave a try and wore was this Mont Blanc Signature Absolute. This definitely is better on my skin. I like it. <laughs> I still get that clean, it's almost to me, like lemon clean. Sometimes lemon just always comes off to me like clean, like clean cleaning solution. But it's a little different. It's not quite that. I get, I get the florals in it. Yeah, it's grown on me. But I wore this. I didn't get any compliments the day I wore it. So I can't tell you that. Um, but it lasted about four hours on me. I, I did carry this with me. I carried it and then I retouched in the middle of the day. So probably about four hours it lasted before I needed to spray myself again. On Saturday, I had a really busy day. I had an event to go to, like a brunch. Then I had a party to go to, for the birthday party. And so I was, I thought initially, I started my day with Coco Mademoiselle. I feel like Coco's always, whenever I want to feel like classy or just confident, um, secure, Coco always works for me. Except for when I have Delina. When I have Delina, and I don't have any right now, but when I have Delina, she's she's my confident keep getter. But Coco fills in when I need her to. Coco as well as Idol. So I we had a shoot, and we had a shoot, and I had this scent on, and my and my coworker was like, that smells so good, and I let her try it. Um, and she really liked it. And I love Idol, but nobody talks about Lancome Idol. <laughs> but it's like really my signature scent. It's another one that I just feel confident when I wear it. And I love it. It's like this watery rose. I just don't know why people don't talk about this scent. Maybe it's basic and you're a niche. This to me. Maybe I'm just basic V, but... I love it. <laughs> so I wore that, but I didn't wear this on Saturday. I wore this at work and later in that week, I'm hopping all over the place. Focus, Ebony, back to Saturday. So Saturday after I wore Coco Mademoiselle, I had that evening event. And so I decided that I wanted to wear something little dark and vampy, sexy. So I put on Navitas Venom of Love by Parlena Shar. Now, this is a scent that is one of those scents I lose it. I don't, I don't um, smell it after I've, after very long. So I decided to layer it, and I layered it with La Nuit uh, Tresor. So two dark. They're very different, but this is a berry. This is a cherry, you know, and sweet. And I thought like kick up the sweetness a little bit in this because once this dries down it becomes really like um instancy so that's what i had on um 
I think you know compliments. So I don't, you know, nobody said anything. Nobody seemed offended by it either. But <laughs> so I don't know how that felt for everybody else. But I was enjoying it. I could smell it all day and all night. And so I thought that was good because I like to be comforted and smell. And no, I smell good. I'm hugging people, you know, seeing people I used to graduate with, giving them hugs and stuff. And so, yeah. But. So that was it, guys. I think I covered everything. Oh, I also forgot. I can't, I did wear my go-to on Monday, which is my Yara and my um, strawberry pound cake. So these two together, gorgeous. I love them. Yeah, that's everything. So let me know if any of these, you have any of these fragrances. What do you think about them? Have you ever had the Merry Maker? Because this is old. Did anybody wear this? I mean, it's old. It's like since it's in 2000, early 2000s. That's it. I hope you all have a good day. If you're not, please know things will get better. All right, guys. Bye.